know, we also have some news this morning on campaign spending. Both party committees setting all kinds of records, spending more than $1.7 billion. And Robin, you're out in California where the Republican candidate for governor, Meg Whitman, breaking records on her own. She's already spent $140 million of her own funds and counting. Yeah, and she's going to be part of the women's conference later today. And joining her will be her, her opponent, Jerry Brown. First Lady Michelle Obama, also part of the Women's Conference as part of her three-day campaign swing out west. The question is whether the First Lady's star power can help Democrats hold on to two Senate seats and win a governorship. In Washington state, a revved-up Michelle Obama with Jill Biden working hard to energize the base and save Democrat Patty Murray's Senate seat. Ready, get those ballots in. If you think someone is sitting out, you got to shake them. Tell them they can't sit this one out. Then in California, a fundraiser with popular Republican target, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. I'm asking you to make those phone calls. This is too close. But will the first lady's message went out against the state's two formidable female Republican candidates, like former Hewlett Packard CEO Carly Fiorina. Republicans say they'll shell out $3 million in the final week to run ads for her like this. Our hopes crushed by Washington. The legacy of Barbara Boxer. Then there's former eBay CEO Meg Whitman, who's had a rougher ride. First a controversy over hiring an illegal immigrant. Then an aide to Democrat Jerry Brown was reported calling Whitman a slur. Last night, Diane Sawyer spoke to Whitman. What's been the hardest day? I've been called a lot of things by my opponent in this campaign. I've been called a Nazi. I've been called a whore. I've been called a liar. Look, I've talked about this so much, it's really boring, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Looking to move on, both campaigns revealed their closing ads Monday. A more civil tone, but both still taking shots. Brown at Whitman. You know, 30 years ago, anything was possible in this state. And Whitman at Brown. If you want more of the same from Sacramento, then vote for my opponent. Well, as you know, so much going on in politics from the tough tactics you'd expect to some things that are, well, a little bit odd. Koki Roberts is going to join us now from Washington to help us sort it all out. And please do here, Koki, because I'm here in California. The First Lady is here. She'll also be going to Washington. Now, this is normally dark blue territory. So what does this tell you? Tells you it's a year the Democrats are in trouble all over the place. And you'll be you'll be seeing a lot of them out there uh, uh, this week, Robin. And you know, the California, uh, the Democrats have been doing incredibly well uh, over the last uh, decade or so. And uh, and people begin are beginning to think they're likely to pull it out this time again. But the fact that they're having to fight so hard and spend all that money is uh, is something that tells you what this whole year is like for Democrats. Yeah, and you say spending all that money, as George just said, Meg Whippen, uh, the right. Republican government uh, governor, uh, candidate right. out here, 140 of her own money, and that right, yet the TV Jerry Brown, stations are her happy. <laughs> yeah, they're very, very happy. The local stations, you can't turn on local TV out here, Koki, without seeing without a spot. Seeing but Jerry, Bur but but Jerry Brown, here he is. You know, he's riding. He's he's facing this Republican wave, doing well in the polls, has a substantial lead. So why has he been able to to hold this off with all this money coming as, uh, against him? I think that uh, even though you have a year when uh, people are saying we, we want to throw all the bums out, we want people who have never held office before, all of that, uh, that in California there's a sense that they tried that uh, with the current governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he is, as you know, wildly unpopular. And, uh, and Brown has done a good job of comparing Whitman to Schwarzenegger and doing ads where showing them saying exactly the same thing. So <clears throat> I think there is a sense that maybe, maybe in California, which usually sort of leads the way on, on new trends, that they're going back to the old way and you can't get any hmm. more tried and true than Jerry Brown. He's certainly been around for a very long time. Yeah, for decades. So let's go to the <laughs> other side of the coast. Let's go to Rhode Island. The, the Democrat there, as Jack and George were, were talking about, uh, saying shove it to the president, in essence, <laughs> about his uh, endorsement or lack thereof. It, it's just really very different out there right now. It is. It's a it's a rough year. It's a rough year to be running for anything. It's it's uh, you know it's it's rough on incumbents particularly, but this is kind of a nice thing. I mean, it's not so nice that he said shove it, but um, you know, in the olden days, members of the Senate didn't campaign against each other, and certainly uh, people who had had served together and and liked each other, 
And President Obama had served with Lincoln Chafee, and, and Chafee voted with the Democrats on many occasions. And uh, mm -hmm. he just decided not to, not to oppose him and not to endorse his opponent, even the, though the opponent was a Democrat. That is, you know, that's kind of a return to the civility of the past, uh, which was certainly not seen very much of this year. But, uh, of course, the response to that from the Democrat was hardly civil. Yes, that was not. All right, Koki, <laughs> thanks. Have a great day in you Washington. Too, Appreciate your insight, as always.